Long ago, Native Americans did not have diabetes. Now in some Native communities, one in two adults has it. A longtime Native American leader and his group are trying to change that and made a stop at La Plazita Institute in the South Valley to tell us about their journey. It's a story you'll see only on 7. Dennis Banks is a Native American activist and leader. He co-founded the American Indian Movement and took part in the occupation of Alcatraz Island and the Trail of Broken Treaties, two events that brought attention to Native issues. <laughs> now he's on another journey. It's about reversing diabetes, calling attention to uh, what diabetes does to our bodies. Banks is a diabetic who's changed. But I said, no, no, I'm not going to live this way. He wants others to change too. According to the U.S. Department of Health, Native Americans are twice as likely to get diabetes compared to non-Hispanic whites. There's been a 68% increase in diabetes from 94 to 2004 among Native youth. 95% of Native Americans who have diabetes have type 2, and 30% of this population has pre-diabetes. Banks and about 45 others are walking to Washington, D.C., trying to get people to exercise more and eat better. Vegetables, uh, juices like uh, fruit juices, uh, anything that's not processed, like potato chips, those are horrible for you. This group knows the consequences of diabetes if it isn't taken care of, and that's what their steps are trying to prevent. And it's really sad to know that the people on my reservation have diabetes, and they're getting, they're, they're getting amputated, and their legs are getting cut off, and fingers and toes. It's really sad. It's a five-month walk that began in San Diego and again will end in our nation's capital on July 8th, where there will be a national summit on diabetes.